Hey, it's Christina with Tina Girl Travels. In this video, I'll be showing you what to expect from a stay at the Block Hotel at Gatwick Airport in London, England. We'll get to that in a second. First off, I wanna tell you that getting to Gatwick from London is very easy. If you want comfort and speed, the Gatwick Express is for you. If you wanna save a bit of money, your other options are the Southern trains and the Thameslink trains. And of course, there are buses and taxis. We're taking the Thameslink link our journey takes just over 40 minutes we are staying at Gatwick because we have a very early flight out in the morning and my recommendation is to stay at the airport for any flights before 10 a.m. Currently in the summer of 2022, the security lineups were ridiculously long. So if you're flying out of the country three hours early is actually when you should arrive. Our flight left at 7 a.m. and we were able to check our luggage the night before, which was so great. Gave us a couple of extra minutes to sleep in. This is our second time staying in a hotel that's actually inside Gatwick Airport. Last time we stayed at the Hilton. I wanted to try something different this time, so let's go in and have a look. This is a very compact room. It's very clean and had everything we needed. The bed was super comfortable. It felt as wide as a king, but it must be at least eight feet long. It looks deceiving because it's surrounded by walls on three sides, but it was spacious enough for us. There's one side table with two British style plugs. The lights, temperature and window coverings are controlled using this control panel right next to the bed. There is a TV, probably a 32 inch I would say. The fresh fluffy towels and crisp cotton sheets made it really nice. Let's have a look at the bathroom. So it's an all-in-one toilet, sink and shower all in one space. I'm kind of getting used to that now in Europe because we've had a few hotels with that. The shower was really nice. It had a rain head and a handheld shower. The stainless steel plate is the drain. A wall hung toilet and sink and faucet coming right out of the wall. You can see they cover up one of the toilet papers for you there with a plastic box so it doesn't get wet. But this space gets completely soaked when you have a shower. So keep that in mind. This is a all-in-one shampoo and body wash and thermostatically controlled faucet. And here's an image of after the shower the floor is soaking wet so if you're walking in and out of there after you've had a shower and you're trying to use that bathroom yeah just keep that in mind we stayed on level five of eight keep in mind that when you book this hotel and many hotels in europe that inside rooms are normal they tend to be cheaper but imagine such a small room without a view even though our view is ugly i just like to be able to see outside no window is not my thing but hey if you're arriving late and just need a place to sleep it's great this hotel offers a hook for your coat and a hair dryer hanging on the wall you need to be creative with your space in this room actually our suitcases slid easily under the bed getting them right out of the way the flooring is like a modern style vinyl tile no carpet maybe that's why it feels so clean all right there's my husband keith not really wanting to be filmed at the moment but this clip shows you how long that bed actually is keith's six feet tall and there's at least two feet still at the foot of the bed now the next thing i want to show you is the coffee room there was this door that just said coffee room and it had this coffee maker inside you could go in there at any time make yourself a coffee or a tea it was a really nice thing from the elevator in the hotel, you can go down to level two for check-in and bag drop, or even the train station. Level three is the departures level, and have a look how close it is. Right outside the elevator, you're straight into the terminal. It really couldn't be any simpler. Travel is stressful enough. Having departures right outside the hotel elevators is amazing. Thanks so much for watching my video on the Block Hotel at Gatwick. If I was able to help you out, please give my video a thumbs up. I have some great videos coming up from London, including visiting Borough Market and Harrods Food Hall. You won't want to miss those. So be sure to subscribe so you're the first to know when I publish my videos. I'll see you next time on Tina Girl Travels.